you can just kind of like work it in until you hear it click and then hopefully it's it responds normally it kind of stays in place and doesn't rattle around or anything okay so like let's try it again oh lift up i think if you lift up the front and get that to come off then the, the rest of the key will come off okay of course now that i said that So then again, I just kind of like make sure you have it in the same orientation as that, but you rest it in place and then just kind of work it down until it clicks. And then this one, we have to transplant the this piece. So I found if you actually open the X up slightly and hold it up, then you can stretch the bottom edge out so that it comes clear of the hooks that it's got. So this is there. And then once you even once you release one corner then the whole thing kind of gets easier to move around and release. But you gotta do everything you can not to uh, break it. it. Can take a little bit of stretching but not much. And then what I try to do is make sure I keep it, I just keep it in the same orientation because if you flip it over or rotate it, it'll never go on. Um, and then here, you got to make sure you're, you're, the same hooks that you released it from over there are, are good. Sometimes they get bent over and pushed down. So um, get those things on the two hooks there, and then you can lay it down, and the front hooks should just kind of, the top hooks rather, should just kind of come on. You can test it. You can lift that up and you can feel that it's not going anywhere. So you put the, the bottom part down first, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, there's two hooks at the bottom and they're like, they're open on this side. So they're, you, you have to slide it in this way from the bottom up. Mm -hmm. the, hooks, the hooks are like this. So you gotta slide, slide the plastic piece over it kind of. Um, and then again, now that you, once you have that in there, this piece, this part, you could just lay on and work down to the good. Now we have a good keyboard again. So, <clears throat> you're gonna start by prying off the key. I think it, uh, for this particular model, if we pick the bottom up and, and flip it open like a like the top of a garbage can or something, um, it'll you'll hear it pop, and then you can kind of wiggle the rest of it out once it. I don't know. There we go. So there's there's stuff on the back of these two that need to be able to click in. You don't want to damage those either. Uh, so we have the key, and now we need the the cross piece here. Uh, this one is already coming apart, so I'm going to steal one from another key. Um, as long as it's the same size, it shouldn't matter. So again. I hold this up a little bit, and it just happens with that with this model. This helps to be able to release these off these hooks here. Mm -hmm. So I bend it down a little bit and lift up so that now it's released. And I'll do the same on the other side, bend it down and free of that hook. And then once you have both of those off, then you're good to go. And then on the other end, we just hook those two bottom things back on first, the things that we released. And then if you lay it down, it clicks right in. And now you can test it. You'll, you can feel that it's not going anywhere. It's hooked in pretty good. And then the key, once all of that stuff is right, if nothing's broken, then putting the key back on is just as easy as laying it in place and then push it, giving it a little pressure when it clicks down. Great.